Hello and welcome back to another upload. Uh, as you can see, I'm definitely not at the game today and I'm also definitely not in England. I am in sunny Cyprus. It's over there. Yeah, this is amazing. You can see the sunsets and everything and I'm obviously having the greatest time of my life here in Cyprus. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to film outside. I'm going to test the audio out very quickly to see if it's not too windy. Uh, I don't even know why it's windy. It's a little bit of a breeze really by the sea. Today is uh, Nottingham Forest versus Tottenham. Firstly, welcome to the Premier League, Nottingham Forest. Um, good to see you there, really. Uh, that's the full definition of a sleeping giant in my book, and it's good to see one of them sorts of clubs back in the Premier League. Uh, they've been doing a lot of business over in the summer. Uh, Antonio Conte's team remains unchanged. Uh, we're still having Son starting, and we are keeping our midfield as it is. I, I'm, I'm all right with Son still starting, to be honest with you. I don't. I think it's a little bit too reactionary at this uh, given stage to um, put Rich Arlison over Son over a few bad games, considering that literally two months ago he got Golden Boot of the Year. You know, I'm actually confident that maybe Son might be able to restore some form here. I'm fairly confident that I think we will get a win out of this. Obviously, you know, no insult and definitely not to underestimate Nottingham Forest, but I think we've got the overall. Uh, quality to uh, get the three points today. Uh, Nottingham Forest have already got a set piece opportunity, and you know how we do with set pieces. Oh, Larice punches that out. Go on, Kulu. Go on, Kulu. Oh, good ball to Kane. Yeah! What a finish from Kane! What a finish! Wow. Don't normally score this early. I don't care. Home, hotel, Tottenham. Tottenham. Oh, it's not sleeping. It's not sleeping hours. God, I'm not even allowed to celebrate a goal these days. Come on, though. What a finish. Oh, my God. That was dodgy defending. Emerson, why are you sliding in like that? What are you doing, Emerson? Davis clears the ball away from the box and they try and drill it in from the edge of the box and um, I think Emerson just does an uneasy tackle, does an unnecessary tackle I would say. That's a bad mistake. Thank God that was wide. Fucking hell, but it's a corner though. There are some gaps in that defending, I'm not going to lie to you. Go on Son, shoot! Oh! Close. Close. He's not far off from scoring, Son. I am telling you this now. Oh my God, that shot from O'Brien. Oh! What? Are you Basically, Perisic just headed the ball straight at Hugo Lloris. It looked like it was going to be an own goal. It would have been a great header, though. I can't fault him for that, but bloody hell, that shot, that shot from that O'Brien fella, number 14, powerful shot, Lloris actually saves that for once, because I've seen him like screw up in long distance shots before, and then we almost conceded an own goal, but Lloris saves us again, please get that ball out Tottenham, get that ball out Sanchez, oh my days, I, I don't know what I can say about Sanchez really. So why did Romero have to be injured? No, 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 no. Get it out, Tottenham. Just get it out. It's going to be 1 1. It's going to be 1 1. Oh, fair play, Perisic. Why do we keep giving the ball away? Flipping hell. It's performances like that where you forget your 1 0 luck. Oh no, no, no. Fucking hell, Hugo. Great punch out. Oh my god, there's something not right with our defence there. Why are they getting the ball so easy and getting into our half on the counter attack? It's too easy for them. It's too easy. There's no formation defensively, there's just none of it. Go on, son. Flag stay down. Flag goes up anyway. It was offside. So I think Son knew that was offside anyway. I don't know why linesmen do that. Just raise your flag up, man. Raise your flag up if you think it's offside the second it is. Okay, so it's half time now. Um, we are still 1 0 up somehow. 
at half time. But I've got to say though, this display has just not been great at all. Um, great that we scored a goal. Um, it was a brilliant finish from Harry Kane. Wonderful assist from Kulusevski and just clever finishing to trick the keeper like that from Kane. But after that, we've just been nothing special. Uh, Son obviously missed a one on one against the keeper, but it was offside anyway. Don't think it's the time to sub Son off now, but we definitely need to do something about the middle, maybe in the midfield even, because we seem to just be too reliant on counter attacking, but we're so clumsy defensively. Like, I don't even know how Forrest haven't even scored. They've just been all over us in our area, in our half. So I hope that Conte actually does make some changes. Maybe bring on Basuma. Maybe bring on Rich Arlison as an extra. I don't know. Honestly, we're just still playing the same way like we did second half in. There's no been instant reaction to how we were playing. Like we're just we're just counter attack FC at the moment. Like we're just relying heavily too much on counter attacking, and that's it. Go on! Oh! Oh, we're claiming for a handball. No, nah, that's a deliberate handball. That's a handball. That's not difficult. Cool. That is not a difficult call. I'm sorry. He might be being pushed, but he's got full control of his hand. To punch it out. No, 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 no. If they don't give this penalty, I swear to God. I swear to God. I am chucking this laptop out the balcony. Yeah, send him off. Send him off. Right, we got the penalty. Come on. But you got to send Steve Cook off. So basically, it's a definite penalty. But now they can't even decide if it's a red card for um, stopping a goal from happening. Or play from happening at the very least. He's sticking his hand out to stop Kane from getting the ball. It's a denial of a goal scoring opportunity. Just have a fit. Oh my god. I've got this sick feeling inside of me. But come on Kane. Please score this. Please. Come on. I can't believe that. I can't believe that Dean Henderson saved Kane's penalty. Oh my god. That's a great save as well. Oh my god, you just had to miss this one, Kane. Oh, watch out, Forrest are going to equalise now. Oh, oh, hello, Uzes, what's this? Oh my god, almost. Almost from da Williams. Go on, Sessignon doesn't take his man on and loses the ball. 80th minute, and he oh, go on. Go on, Rich Arlison. Cross. Yes! Again. Yes. Kane, come on, come on, yes, oh my god, this is relief, this is relief in my veins, it's peak on Forest because they were the better side after our first goal but they had no end product and then we go on to do this, it's a brilliant cross from Rich Arlison. Okay, so that's full time now, uh, questionable football but I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to complain, um, for Forrest to dominate us so much and be really poor in their end product, I think we got a very good result. We still remain unbeaten in the league. I don't know what the hell that ref was smoking, thinking that that was not a red card. I mean, he gave the penalty, but you cannot see when you play it so many times in the VAR screens that there is a deliberate interfering with the ball and stopping Kane from getting that opportunity to score. So surely that's got to be a red card. I will never understand refs in this country, but you know what? I could complain, but it's just better to be happy with the three points. And that's it for today. I uh, don't know when I'm going to get this video out, but I hope you enjoy it. And um, everyone enjoy your holidays. Football is back, and so is Tottenham.